at the show this is actually Friday and I have not been videotaping the entire show it's about 9 10 a.m. and I am going to go videotape some of the quilts for you and I don't know how many I'm going to get done but we'll see what I can do in about 50 minutes so when I get to the front I will cut you back on so I am at the front you actually enter right up there and I just want to make sure that I at least get the ribbon winners for you. So we're going to start with Best of Show. So here's the entire quilt. And let me go up close so you can see the quilting. Now remember, I have not seen any of this show. I have been working the entire time. And this is my first time doing this. This is called the Celebration of Color, and it's sponsored by Orfeo. And the winner is Helen Sheffer, and she actually has the Best of Show winner here. So we'll just go down, see what these other ribbons are for. We have first place here. It's like a log cabin style quilt and it's called Fractured Rainbows by Amy Kidd and then the next one is Hips and Sepals by Carol Morrissey I don't know if the camera is picking up the detail on the quilting so this one is also it has a first place ribbon. Uh, it's sponsored by Orfield for Art Quilt. And then this one is by, it's called Raindrops by Anna Bick, Bick and Differ. And let me see, it has first place for a traditional quilt. So let me back up so you can see the entire thing. And if you're looking for some quilting techniques for the New York Beauty style blocks, she's got a few, a couple of different things going on here. So, very pretty. So, we're going to walk back this way. The one thing I, I can say I don't like about IQF shows is that they, their quilts are not in a row. So you are just hoping you find them. So we've got a beautiful quilt here. Let me show you the entire quilt. I've done this border before. It's beautiful. Let me show you how the border is pieced. And then when you get up to the corners. I'll tell you who it's by and its name in just a sec but beautiful so the quote we just left was round the Bayview neighborhood by Julie Oren this quote is called what you came for by Pamela Zave lots of I guess one inch finished squares could be three quarters I'm not sure but beautiful And this one is called Round the Garden City by Char Hay. So 
That's the completed quilt. It's got the name Wilma in it. Beautifully dense quilting in the back so that the appliques come forward. Very nice. <laughs> This one is called Effervescent by Lisa Ellis. This next one is Rainbow Star by Elsie Campbell. And then the next one's going to be My Tessellation Quilts by Teresa Boy. So this one is Rainbow Star, which is beautiful. The quilting on it is magnificent. This is by Evelyn Boy. I think it's Evelyn Boy. <laughs> Not sure. This next one is called Color Transformation by Susan Shaw. That's the other thing we're doing the AQS show. You have to tell who the quote is made by. And this one is Rainy Night. By Shi Shin's shoe. Come down here to this beautiful, colorful wall of quilts. All half square triangles, straight line quilting, going horizontal, and it is random lines, organic, like that. I'll tell you who it's by. It is. Morata by Mary Minzer. This one is called Rainbow Blender by Stephanie Scartdell. So arrows. Let you get up close to see. And this one here is called Insanity by Carrie Straka. Very beautiful log cabin quilt made with beautiful, beautiful color. Just gorgeous. <laughs> this one is The Swim Team by Betty Busby. The next one is Flora and Fauna by Tina Tarr. And the next one is No Sleeping in the Gypsy Camp tonight by Cynthia Gurner, which is this one. Got a landscape here called Fall Bridge by Jill Kirchela. This one is Suspended Diamonds by Michelle Lee. Quilting on here is again organic line quilting. And then the next one is Beautiful Taiwan by Hai Si Chin Hu Su. And it actually has a pink ribbon on the side of it. I'm not sure what that means. But I love how they did this tree and then went in for some definition on the sides their organic stitching along the edges to give it some definition and it looks like it's been quilted on top of tulle there's a layer of tulle and then it's been quilted on top now, I've done that before with smaller things but never with something this size right here we have a ribbon I think this is best of show. I showed you that. And we got beautiful flower, floral quilt. Beautiful leaves. I love all the greens. Just shows you how adding in different fabrics can help define an area. This is like crazy quilting backgrounds that I've been telling you about making your own fabric. So that's pretty cool. This is called Modern, Modern Archaeology by Brooke Winters. And she did just very simple quilting in the back. Straight lines, just beautiful. Gorgeous quilt. Show you the whole quilt again. 
This next one is Seville Carousel by Jill Kerchula. And there's the entire quilt. I know some of you are gonna get dizzy, so I'm sorry, but when I'm walking and talking and looking at the same time, it's very difficult to keep a very still camera. Got some drunkard's paths here. So let me go back so you can see the entire quilt. Just beautiful, I love the brightness of this. And it's called Color, Shape, and Movement by Pat Forrester. And she did very simple quilting. Kind of a wiggly line, like a serpentine stitch elongated. Very nice. This next one is called Summer Sunlight by Nancy Gennaro. And I'm showing you a lot of the quilting when they're very simple because it's just organic lines up and down. She didn't try to make sure they were straight or anything like that and I just love that. So we are going to go, we'll just start here. <laughs> We've got second place, so I'll give you a close up. I don't know if this is quilted or not, if it has batting in it, but some big yo-yos. Here's my hand. So it is four fingers wide, <laughs> at least, in depth. And it's bigger than that. So it's like twice my four fingers. So beautiful and different. This is Fair and Square by Rochelle Daisy Daisy. Her name is Rochelle Daisy as one word and then Daisy as a, her last name. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> this one's got second place in surface design. I'm wondering if this was surface design. This is second place in alternative techniques by Madeira Thread. So it kind of mixed in this time. This is Lost in the Sun by Peggy Brown. It's got second place for surface design. This one has second place for group by Hobbs. But it's saying 2018 judge show so I think they're just showing them in this show but it's beautiful I love the coloring and it's called a slice of Norway alone the Fjord by Margaret Donald Karen Adams Patricia Bliss Evelyn Lynn and Ann King this one is called this is the founders award won $7,500 prize in um in houston so we saw this one in houston very nice they are square and the square blocks which are pretty cool in different sizes on a curve <laughs> awesome and it's even got a ship down there <laughs> First place for handmade, and it is called Flower Rondo by Sheena Mini Terry. I have no idea, I'm sure I butchered that really, really bad. <laughs> this lattice work is just beautiful! Beautiful. And she even has it in the border. So we have a lot of ribbons in here. We also have some ribbons here. So we'll just go ahead and dip in. And like I said, I'm not going to be able to show you a lot of quilts this year. But I did want to show you some. So we, we saw this one in Houston as well. So if you're interested in that, go look at the video. This rhino is just gorgeous. I don't remember it. It probably was in Houston as well, but I didn't get to see all of those quilts either. But this is beautiful. It is called Roaming Free by Sophie Standing. And then this last, this next one I'm going to is Turning Over New Leaf by Karen Eckmeyer. And it has a second place ribbon for Peace Small. And I want you to see 
these blocks they look like eyeballs <laughs> it's pretty cool in the little league got second place here um, that one right here is spring trio by Jane Sassaman I'm assuming I think that's what it is Jane Sassaman it looks like her color work and then this one here is my flower by Kiyami Takayangi She's from Spain, or this is from Spain, or the quilt is about Spain. <laughs> Something is from Spain. <laughs> this one is Monrails and Mom by Linda Lynn. It's beautiful. It has a first place ribbon for Peace Large. It's beautiful in the quilting. When you just don't know what to do with all these borders, they kind of connected the borders with the actual center. Just beautiful. And I am like hot flashing really bad. You all don't need to know that, but I want to take off my coat so bad. <laughs> this one has an honorable mention and it's Winter Splash by Maureen Johnston. And I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot of editing with this video. I'm just gonna let it ride because I'm so busy right now. This is the first snow at the end of autumn by Hai Mignon and it has second place for surface design. I'll show you some of the little hidden gems and quilts that you don't necessarily see. They're not all over, just sparingly here and there. Just beautiful. Straight line quilting again. And this one is Architecture of Trees by Susan Engler. And it has Judge's Choice Award. So let me go back so you can see all three of them. So you can see the entire tree. Just beautiful. Now I am going to cut you off so I can take off my jacket. <laughs> okay, so we're starting back up. We're just going to keep going around this circle here for these winners. We've got an honorable mention, Julia's Trees by Sharon Cavajo. Beautiful, I love that too. And she's, this is actually more of a 3D, so she's quilted it and then put these quilted panels on top, which is really nice. We have second place miniature for art. Very densely quilted background here and then look like some thread work. Very nice. It's Born in Formosa by Chai Ting Ku. This is the Pedial Karen number five by Carol Briard Fowler Gentry. And it has abstract small third place ribbon. Just beautiful. Very detailed quilting in the background and circles that are released to make it pop. Just beautiful. All kinds of stitching here, meandering. Got some swirls, some waves, just beautiful. Beautiful job, Cheryl. <laughs> Gorgeous. The Power of Telecommunications by Barbara Triscari. And it has an honorable mention. Again, mostly straight line quilting, just going different angles and things like that, but just beautiful with straight line quilting. Honorable mention here is called I Spun by Sandra Runo, Runiano Navario. So Sandra Runiano Navario from Spain. And then this one is called has an honorable mention on that one. This one has third place for people, places, and fingers, and it's called Bright Idea by Lynn Shaban. Beautiful, beautiful portrait work. Just gorgeous. And you 
look at the hair. Just gorgeous. This one has a second place for pictorial. This is awesome, the detail. We've got, this is On Reflection Cape Town Harbor Fenders by Susan Devaney. Devaney. This one is first place in Naturescape. It's by Cheryl Quinsnell, Sunset Serenity. Beautiful. And then this next one is third place in miniature art. And it is Libby's Leaves number two by Laura Wallace Lasky. Very nice. So I have about 20 more minutes, but I forgot my batteries too. <laughs> I'm not doing very well on this trip with recording. <laughs> this quilt is second place for applique large. And it is called Perseverance by Mary Olson. Just gorgeous. Got a piece of tape blocking it off so I can't see through that, but let you see some of the quilting. China of Scraps porcelain de chiffons by Renee Ferry and quilted by Marie Oldow Morgan has an honorable mention beautiful work it's beautiful It's a sampler. Just gorgeous. So I just missed like they've done all of the opportunity or raffle quotes over there. I don't know what this booth is. There's no sign. NOCC, which is National Ovarian Cancer Coalition is here, passing out information, which is great. Got the American Sewing Guild booth right there, um, probably for signups for membership. And then they also have a booth where you can purchase items from them as well. So got a lot of things over here, a lot of displays. But I'm gonna go this way <laughs> so we can finish with the ribbon quilts. And we turn right into some flamingos and it has a third place ribbon for Fantasy Whimsy. And it's called Bird Talk by Beth Midler. Beth, Mil Beth Miller. <laughs> I went straight to the movies. <laughs> Beautiful. And so different. And let me show you some of this detail with stitching and metallic yarns or threads. Beautiful. And each one of these flamingos are dressed differently. Just beautiful. Beautiful job. This one is called the Art Quilter. I was here. Well, it's not called that. It's called Graffiti too. <laughs> I'm reading what's on the quilt. And then it's by Susan Louise. Just beautiful, very creative. It has a second place ribbon for fantasy whimsy. This has a first place for abstract large. It's called a self-portrait in an ancient bronze mirror by Iju An. She's from Korea, I'm sure I just butchered that really bad. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's just like a snippets project. It's beautiful. So we have been inside over there. So we're gonna go ahead and swing around this way and then we'll work our way around this circle. And then I may have to stop depending on 
what time it is and if my battery runs out. I forgot to take a battery out. This one is called Don't Fence Me In by Cynthia Powery. The next one is called Coming to Gold Mountain by Carol Nicholas. This next one is Tents of Display by Sandy Snowden. Have Paul Mary Activist Lawyer Priest by Betty Hahn. This one is Harriet Tubman, Conductor of the Underground Railroad. And then we've got Breathe by Vivian Milholland. Milholland. This one is Gotta Eat by Susan Miller Jones. The next one is The Chief by Jeannie Knudsen. Beautiful. beautiful the next one is water is life by Allison Lawrence she's out of New, New Zealand and then I see another table here we've got the books of valor right here and it got a sign up there that says room to sew but I'm not sure what's over there yet Some more portrait quotes. I'm just gonna tell you who they're by. This is John Trundle, Maggie Vanderwit, and Leo Ransom. Right here, we have Jimmy Carter, president here. That's by Margaret Williams. And then to the left is Seeds of Hatred by Tanya Brown. She has a whole the poem or message in here and I'm trying to get this so that when I'm got time to look at this video that I can read this I'm trying to get as much as I can this one's called Seeking Shelter by Linda Silverson Gill it's beautiful too it's all uh, artwork uh, thread work to make that design Making a Difference by Paula Salzman. And then we have these two, which is Tom's Bridge by Polly Davis. And it's saying Stop the Hate on the stop sign. And Unity and Diversity by Shammy Williams. And this is the Pound Me Too movement. It's called It Happened by Tanya Brown. Beautiful. Again, straight line stitching in the background. And then she did more piecing to the shapes in the images. Very nice. This one's called a long engagement. <laughs> and by Yolanda Fedora. And this is Becoming Riley by Bridget Risala. Very nice. So the one we just left on the left is Jesus Wept by Michelle Flamer. This one is Quiet Storm by Nika Gamble. Gamble. And we've got the Flourishing Rimmer Stance by Michelle Flamer. So we're gonna go onto this section so difficult to keep track of where you've been and where you're going this is mr jim crow on my shoulder by bonnie atwoods this next two are it's not fair by marky van welzen and then we've got the one to the right saying april 27 1994 mandela votes by margaret Williamson.
this one here is pixels I want to say well it looks like pixels because of the quilting I'm not sure if they did it in patches I think they did their pixels in patches and then did the quilting to make it look like they were all pixels but it's a very creative technique I want to do a pixelated portrait as well got Alan Alan turning by Susan Alden Wood then these next two here are Maya and Son by Denise Courier and then the other one is the first lady of the world by Gabriel de Toda so There's no, this one is called Colorblind by Mary Sinald. So we're getting a little political into our quilt making. <laughs> We've got Made by Children. Beautiful. And then it's got the kids and their ages are made by a child, made by children, but it says made by seven year old Oren. So pretty cool gorgeous so this one's called made by children and is Jeannie Knudsen we've seen some other stuff from her today and we've got Susan Miller Jones we're still here this one is called women voices matter by Susan Price and then we have Martin Luther King Jr. Malcolm X, opposite ends of the spectrum. And then we have, so Women's Voices Matter, I thought I said Susan Price, and then this one was made by Leo Ransom. And then over here on the right is Alex by Pauline Salzman. Nice portrait quilt. And I think that's it for this one. Come here. <laughs> Meet my new friend. <laughs> Hi, she's Hi. here at the show. Thank you. And you'll be at AQS, right? Yes. We'll and be. then, what's your booth name? Mindeleo, and we sell African fabrics and hand dyed. Most of our stuff are hand dyed stuff. Okay. So you will meet us there. We are very cute, nice. Bub. Are you in the bubble or? I'm in the bubble. Okay, because that's why I thought I saw I've you. I've been before, there for years. That's where I am. Okay. Every year. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you all visit her at AQS when you see yes. her booth, and she's in the bubble. Don't forget that. Thank you for all our your African fabrics. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> So, this one here has a sign. I'm, I'm sure other ones have signs and I've been just missing them, but trying to get things. And sorry about all the fast jerking, but I wanted to catch her because I knew she was vending here and in AQS. So, thank you so much. This one is called External Expectation by. Ludmilla Malchoy. This one is called Such a Beauty. Same person made this. So this is an exhibit. It doesn't say no photography. So all of these quilts are made by Ludmilla Malchoy. Beautiful artwork quilts. Most of the time when you have one person, it's no photography, but I don't see it. So hopefully we're okay. So I haven't even left the front row of quilts. I have not even dipped into a middle row. <laughs> so the show is huge. I'm going to say where the blue carpet is, is midway of the show. So it's going to be a lot of this quilt show and then you can see where it's all the way back to that wall that's outside of this wall here. So all the way back there, is where it ends so I'm sure I will not get to show you even a portion of this show this is still with the Our Young Brothers the same collection 
we just been seeing. I'm just going to show you the quilts. These are all by Mal Choi. Beautiful. This is a booth right here behind this curtain. It's the AQS commemorative booth. Anyway. Are you with this booth? Are you with this booth? I'm not. No. no. Okay. Do you have I was coming to. No, I was just coming to find out what it was. This is um, their five dollar raffle ticket, mm -hmm. and uh, you win the whole thing, don't you? You win the rap you win the blocks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the sewing machine, the desk. Oh, really? You win yes. the whole room? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I'm thinking it's just the blocks. That's pretty cool. I have to come back through here. Yeah, absolutely. They're and it's sponsored by Moda Fabrics and Supplies, so they must have some. The, I'm wondering the what their the fabric. organization is, but there's a lot in here for a five dollar raffle ticket. <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> yes. Wow. And you can't win unless you enter. Thank you so much. Okay, are you here? Yes. Okay. We have the miniature quote exchange created by Ricky Tams and Alex Anderson. And then we have a lot of miniature quilts and um, you should be seeing the names with the quilts. This is a lot. So since the signs are right by the quilts, I, they're included. <laughs> and it's going to be a quick run through on these. So if you want to see anything, go ahead and pause the screen and look. Looks like a postage stamp. That's cool. square triangles with a tree block so, I've been recording this last sex segment for like 20 minutes or so so I'm sure it's getting time for me to get to my booth area they'll be announcing the opening in just a second so I'm trying to see what time it is now it's like 10 minutes till. So I'm just gonna walk this wall of miniatures and then we're gonna quit for right now. And I hope that I can come back. That's beautiful. It's called Sam Neville Misty Lake. Came from Germany. Very beautiful. It looks like the quilt from Bonnie Hunter. It is, it says it's the quilt from Bonnie Hunter on Ringo Lake and miniature. Oh my goodness, that is scary. <laughs> I would say her units are like three quarters inch by an inch and a half, maybe or a half inch by an inch. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'd say they're about one inch by a half inch, her flying geese blocks. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So again, they got the signs right next to these quilts. So I'm not gonna read a lot. And I am actually going to end this video segment for here. I'm hoping that I can come back and do some more videotaping. I'll try again tomorrow to get here. 
early so I can do some more taping. But I do know you will not see the entire quilt show. You won't see all the quilts. And so please, 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 if you get a chance to go to a national quilt show, please do so. That's the best way to experience this, not through a video camera. You can get to ponder, pick what you like to see, and enjoy the show. So I am going to go ahead and end this segment right here. And if you are at the show, um, I will be adding pictures in each day of people that stop me. So I'll be trying, hopefully some people will stop me today and we can get some photos in. I'm this way. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next segment. Bye bye everybody. of the quilt show so I thought that I would go and show you a few more quilts I have about a half hour before I need to be in the booth or back in the booth I'm in the booth now <laughs> but let's go and just walk up to the next um, let's just go walk up to the quilts <laughs> And I am just walking regularly, so. That's both here. came in I'm about in the middle to the back the back of the show is right here this aisle so we're just gonna start walking around looking at quilts talk about playing with the eyes on the center of this it's amazing that is vortex and variation by Gail Smith this one is the Halo Medallion by Sue Sweeney. And here we have a Dear Jane quilt called My Dear Jane by Reed Grimm. Beautiful. And then we go into Lone Star of Tuscany by Susan Godley. So these are all bed quilts. So probably won't be able to see them all. This is Former's Daughter by Christine Howwig. And this last one here is called Old Friends by Susan Dario. beautiful sampler here in a window pane style it's called siren song by Rebecca Preston quilted by Valerie Lang this one is color explosion by Cindy host beautiful And I don't know if there's anything on this wall. There's no quilts on that wall. 
right here we have stargazed very simple quilt with just super sized half square triangles and it's by edith edith to star or i pronounce her name wrong all the time edith to star maybe and then this is also by her this is her must be a, a collection of hers it's called patches of blue this one's called let it snow so i'm assuming all of this is the same work of the patches of blue this one's called aurora blue hawaiian delight pineapple block alaska and this one is first dance it's like a double nine patch block beautiful and let's see if these are also yes these are also part of that collection this is called frost I'll get you the name of this one in just a bit this one I am actually working on no I'm not I'm not working on this one this one's different it reminded me of one I was working on but that's not it this one is simmering snow well simmering snow is that one <laughs> this one is patchwork born and this one is thousand oaks can't read the name on this one yet I've made this one in a scrappy setting she calls it sea breeze this one is sugar pine so they're basically just half square triangles blocks with one half of it being patchwork it's very nice and this one is called Blueborns. New York Beauty. And next up will be Shining Star. This one is called Gift Baskets. And we have Pinehurst. I'd say her Tri-Rex blocks that she used in here are about maybe 10 inches high, could be 11, 12. Maybe they're 10 inches, but they're beautiful. We have Journey. First Flakes. So the Feather Star Block. And then Bluebells. So all of the border is just half square triangles. So you could use half square triangles or you could use flying geese. We're into the 1876 Centennial Quilt Project. This one is called Perseverance. And it looks like they're all the same quilt in different coloring. The next three that I'm gonna show you this one is called MTL 76 by Sheila Bishop. The 
One I just left was Karen Alexander's, the Perseverance. And then the last one is called Pinky by Sheila Bishop, which is this one. So all the same quilt, different colorations and different borders. First one didn't have a border. The second one has a zigzag border and this one has points borders, triangle points. Here's another one, doesn't have a, it has a plain border. And I guess maybe the plain border is what's in the pattern maybe. And this is from Indigo to Cheddar by Avonel Hamilton. I'm trying to see the names on these papers. And then the next one is The Wandering Geisha by Barbara Snyder. Oh, it's a lot of them too. So just showing you different colorations. I know you can't see the whole quilt, but they're so big. <laughs> this one is by Barbara Gons. And this one is by Barbara Gons, and it was quilted by Karen Brown. Both of these are by Barbara Gons, Gons and they were quilted by Karen Brown. This one here is by Barbara Gons, but it's also quilted by her. Then we got three other colorations. So Barbara did three. Maybe she did more, because here's another one by Barbara Gons. It was quilted by Chris McWeeny, right here. And this one is by Marie Johnston, Johnson, Johannesson, I'm sorry, Marie Johannesson, and quilted by Carrie Stone. This one is by Carol Strum, and quilted by Erica Borg. So all different colorations, and there's a whole wall of more of those. So I am going to skip some of these just because I got so many quilts I need to show you. And they're still coming around this corner. So it's still a lot of them. So I will just show you the quilts, but basically I'm going to a new section. We're in a section that's called In Full Bloom. I love the edging on this quilt. Beautifully done. It's um, called Coffee, Coffee Facet Workshop Quilt by Te Yamaki out of Colorado. This one is called Yellow Roses for Mom by Vicki Bonhoff. Beautiful, they look so real. Look at the depth. Beautifully done. This one is called Containers by Auric Modiani, Modianio. <laughs> oh God, it's been a long morning already. <laughs> this Daisy's Got the Blues by Linda Swanson. This is The Tree of Life by Eliza Inbar. This is Aussie Bush Delight by Lois Evans. Sunflowers by Peg Collins. And Wild Things by Marianne Williamson. The Shades of the Ozarks by Christine Kutzler. Flower Power by Janice Richardson. Just 
Joyful Gordon by Pan Hasu Ween out of Taiwan. This is Stardust on Wild Tulips by Gail Wild. <laughs> Look like it's all machine embroidery here. It's interesting. It's called Into the Sun from East to West. And they are embroidery designs by Anita Good Design. I thought so. Looks like their style. And it is by it was by Elizabeth Leonard. And this is the Wonder in Color by Tamar Ophir. And this is the Yucca and the Moth by Shannon Conley. Beautiful. Is there a front quilt? No. <laughs> this is called Rainbow Shower Tree. And it goes out to even more of a Hawaiian style quilt, just beautiful. And I don't, I think they may have done it in one setting and then it was dyed or used dyed fabric, so it's pretty cool. It's by Shahari Takahashi from out of Japan. I know I butchered that as well, probably, but I'm close. <laughs> this one is called Garden Girl by Martha Walker. And then here is the sign for in full bloom. You want to stop the camera here and read that. And we have more quilts. New Zealand Beauty number one by Joni Michelle. Beautiful. It has a ribbon on it for floor quilt award. And then this is Mama T's Garden Party by Teresa Marler and Mary Kobe. And butterflies. It's beautiful. Let me give you a close up of the butterflies. And then we have a sampler here Rose of Sharon Sampler by Karen Volson. And then here we have My Flower Garden by Tracy Hickey. My Flower Garden. Okay. So, we're in a different section. This is in the American tradition. So we'll start with this one. It's the bias pomegranate quilt by Tamara Gross, quilted by Jan Hutchison out of Wichita, Kansas. Beautiful. Show you this corner. Just gorgeous quilting. This one is called Reconstruction Oh What a Spin I Am In by Cynthia Gurner out of Indiana. I love her box in the border. <laughs> it's all of her box are some kind of spinning blocks, which is really cool. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> so I don't know, whoops. I don't know what this one is yet, but it's a Christmas quote or it looks, appears to be a Christmas style, but I will let you know. It's called New Brentfield's Garden by Ginger Brent. Traditional piece blocks here. Happy Homes by Ann Horton. And then this quilt here is called Redwood Garden by Janice Joyner. And you can see the detail of this handwork is outstanding. Look at that down there, bullseye. <laughs> now we have not, we're not going to be able to see every quilt, so 
Now this is really cool. It's a Dear Jane and they did some different things with the lines going in being color. I really like that. It Instead of just all muslin in, it does kind of give it some more definition in there. I love that. And this is by, this is called Crayola Jane by Sharon Evans. I have to make sure I get the name right. I can't see from back here. Yes, it is Sharon. It's got two R's. <laughs> this one is Double Wedding Ring 2015 by Susan Hazlitt Schofield. Lorena by Melanie Dugash, quilted by Libby Peterson. Gathering Baskets by Sandy Massett. And this one is called Checkers Anyone by Sharon Choate, quilted by Melanie McCuller. This is Big TRI by Maria Shell, I think that's what it says. Next one is called Broadway Beauty by Mary Davis. And this one is Blue Tall from Paris by Judith Bailey. Okay. Then we have a couple of quilts here. It's called Alice Blue Baltimore by Alice Sagapore, quilted by Valerie Wagner out of Houston, Texas. And from Canada, we have Birds of Paradise by Janet Olmstead. Alberta so I got like this whole section so let's start right here and then we'll work our way back around to the outer wall <laughs> still in the American tradition this is Rowdy Flat Liberty quilt by Michelle Huddleston so these checkerboard blocks are put on point as they were sewed <laughs> pretty cool We've got Decalab Squares by Mary Stewart and quilted by Barry and Lane. Homestead to Sally Ann by Gail Smith, quilted by Angela McCorkle. This quilt here is the Caswell quilt by Cynthia Collier. Quoted by Cynthia Gravely. This is Rattlesnake by Joy Palmer. And this one is Miss Lily by Mary Alice Bordelin. Quoted by Ruby Mir. So beautiful, beautiful work here. Look at the piano quilt over there. <laughs> I've never seen one in color. I've seen it in black and white. Oh, we got more of these big yo-yos and they're colorful. Very cool. And they were just scrappy. Awesome. So this is yo-yos a la mode. By Rachel Daisy Daisy and that must be the same person that did the other one and she's out of New South Wales Australia techniques are hand pieced and applique machine quilted machine pieced and quilted sources yo-yos I once overheard yo-yos described as old-fashioned and boring so I set out to show they do have a modern side I dressed them in bold colors sold them in half half them again and served them up on a low volume background. The result is an illusion of geometry, geometry like pieces of a puzzle. 
the shapes shift from circles to squares to rectangles and back to circles again just very cool i love it um this is sunrise of hope by julia fisk and this is the double nine patch by charlene o'connell so some of her nine patches have been quilted in and we this one is on Wings of Songs by Leanne McLean. Beautiful piano. And like I said, I've seen this done in black and white, but I've never seen it done in the color. It's totally different and I like it. I like them both ways, to be honest. But beautiful. And she added all kind of applique stuff with the music, which is not in the pattern, the original pattern. And even got the hands down here, so that's pretty cool. This one is called Hanko Ladies by Bonnie Jones. So they're little hankies. Different as well. Very nice work here. I'll get you the sheet about it in a minute. Border is also beautiful. <laughs> Applique sampler here. It's called Red Roses by Mary Bondalon, quilted by Rudy Meir. And the one that I showed you here is called Vintage Rose by Luann Nichols and quilted by Ver Valerie Wagner. This one is called Old Voices by Cynthia Collier, Peggy Morton, Joni Not and Joni Nottingham and quilted by Cindy Gravely. Okay. Can't see the sign for this one either. Big New York Beauty Blocks. And it's called Starburst by Judith Shapach, quoted by Sue Paklosky. Um, this one is called Kyle's, Kyle's Texas Star by Ginger Brandt. So they've got different colorations of that. The quilting on here is beautiful looks like an antique this one is flying around by coat quilted by Debbie Burnett okay so we got a good chunk of the back so let's go ahead and go up in this middle section I know I missed the back row so again I'm not gonna be able to show you all the quilts but I wanted to show you a few so I got about 15 maybe 10 minutes maybe of actual filming this one has a first place ribbon we are one this is the equalters love your mother's quilt challenge display second place is it second yes this is second <laughs> and it's um even if it got out of our hands by mivria arvana and from spain um sent this one in second place this has a little hang on it as well and then this one is all from australia one third place is called beautiful australia by silky stockner this is all quilting and then they just beat it down in the back here to really make this trellis pop beautiful the mother earth by Sylvia Hernandez it scared me the trucks on the other side of this wall this is all hands needed Mother Nature has been protecting and holding our earth in the palm of her hand because of the greed and carelessness of our, our planet is more fragile than ever. Now is the time to act. Beautiful. And this one was by Karen Ponchill. Mother Earth quote, running out of time by Linda 
G. <laughs> this one is Mother Earth is Losing Her Marbles by Wilson from the Netherlands. And he's got all kind of maps and things in the center, which is really cool. Or she, he or she. <laughs> A Mother's Hope by Deborah Bowman. So it's like a one block wonder quilt. Celebration of Color is sponsored by Arfield. So that's not the same display, but I showed it to you anyway. <laughs> and I think these are the remaining Mother Earth quilts here. Mother's Love by D. Manwaski. Save our planet, stop global warming. Say help, my planet is melting by Annette Rowland. And this one is I Love Africa by Patty Arson. Love your mothers. Gaia's Gifts by Deborah Snyder. On, um, honorable mention here is the sign if you're interested in reading you can pause here this yellow ribbon is I don't know I'm confused <laughs> Um, this one is Say No to Animal Approaching by Janice Jones. Very nice. I have to ask you, did they give you a phone at the hotel? For, oh. To get to me or anybody else? Yes. I didn't know it was you. Oh, it's me. <laughs> okay. I didn't know who it was and I just needed to tape some. So I will, I'll give it to you. I'll bring it back to okay. you when I get yeah. there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks. All right. I was, uh, is Mary in there now? There. Okay, so Marion is not here yet. Okay, so I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. I'm a two Madri Love Your Mother by Sonia R U I Z from Dyer, Indiana. Ooh, look at that. That's a whole different display right there. We got three more quotes I'm going to show you here, and then I'm going straight across the aisle. <laughs> This is The Threatened Coral Reef by Barbara Dole. This is Help by Becky Grover. It's beautiful too. I love that the patchwork is Mother Earth. <laughs> I'm too busy looking. And this is Crying for Our Future by Melissa Descent. Making some powerful statements with those quotes. Let's see what this category is. Got all kinds of sparkles in this quilt. Let me just show you up close. The Last Supper by Anne McGraw. And the one with the sparkles I just showed you was African Ablum by Barbara Ann McGraw as well. So these must be all by Barbara Ann McGraw. Yes, it is. And the quilt display is the life stories told through my quilts. This is beautiful. It's got real hair. Just gorgeous. And this is called Leslie Rose. And Leslie Rose was made for a hair magazine, Hair Sophisticates. And through my husband's job at Sally Beauty, it depicts three black women. The faces are made from suede, and it features jewelry and real hair extensions encased in tulle. Hair is couched around the hairlines of each lady. The fabric background and hair give the appearance of rhythm and movement. I named the quote after my little sister, Leslie Rose, gone but well loved. Beautiful. Just beautiful. 
big blue and this is actually going to be the last section that I'm recording here so I'm just gonna go through these quickly these are all by Barbara Ann McGraw and then we're gonna stop beautiful again I love this beautiful this one's called Oya 2 and it says I once read a book about Oya an African Cuban goddess I was interested in religions around the world could I almost see her dancing around a fire sparks flying into the air her scarves waving above her head she is superimposed into a colorful background so that she almost recedes. Suede is used for her head, arms, and feet. She is decorated with jewelry. The headdress is made of braided three-dimensional fabric coils. So the headdress here, it's just beautiful. Love the colors too. The gratitude tree. They all are so fascinating. I want to just stay here. Growing a new America Obama. Zenobia 2. May Lee. And we have Irma Lee. And this one is the face of peace, Bishop Tutu. And I'm not sure if these are hers as well. Yes, they are. So I'm just gonna run through these and then I got to cut this camera off. If I get time to videotape anymore, I will be back. But if not, it will be the end of the video. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna I'm a video, I'm gonna just tape you for right now. But this is Barbara McGraw, and I've been showing McCraw, I'm sorry, and I've been watching and just showed you all of her quilts, and I didn't know that she was sitting here at the table. <laughs> but you do have a website. Can you give them your website? Yes, I can. It's www.quiltasart.com. Com. Okay, and I will make sure I put that in the description. Okay, and anything you, you want to share, do you have any patterns or books or anything like that that you've written? Well, I did write a book about this quilt because I was asked to write it. And uh, it goes into the stories behind each of the blocks because this is a very personal quilt. I studied okay. on Ancestry.com for three years oh, wow. to find out information. And so then it's all in my quilt, my DNA okay. results and everything. Okay. In there, so. And they can get this from your website? Yes, they can. Okay. Yes, and can. this quilt, you say, won Best of Show at AQS? Yes, it did. Just beautiful. Thank you. It's, it's won first place in and the master's categories in Dallas, Plano, Texas, AQS, IQS. Wow. Uh, just, I it's just beautiful. It's but, so... You really personified this quilt. I did. And things that people can change up for their family. So exactly. even if they get the book. Right. And I'm not an artist, which I really like to tell people so that they don't think that, well, it, it wouldn't be possible for them to do this. A lot of this is photo transfer, like my grandparents up at okay. the top. The heads on my mother and my blog down here okay. at the bottom. Just photo Those transfer. Photo transfer. And wow. then I made the outfit to go okay. on top of it. Just beautiful. Yeah, thank you so much. Just beautiful. But I gotta run, but I am so glad that I got to meet you. And to meet you I will too, definitely too. go check out your blog and I wanna tell my YouTubers to go check you out well, as well. Thank you. So thank you so that. much. You're